Hello, welcome to another episode of E-Training Guides. Today we're going to be talking about the SDCM 2006 hotfix and some of the issues that it resolves. And so I've highlighted some um, known issues with 2006 that the hotfix will um, resolve. So the Microsoft Defender Advanced Threat Protection ATP policy set using the MEM admin center may be overwritten by policies set from the Config Manager console. Uh, desktop analytics usage, app usage data isn't monitored for up to 15 minutes when a computer comes back from standby. Uh, software center may intermittently time out when connecting to a cloud management gateway to uh, retrieve user available apps. Clients fail to download policy data Status message ID 10803, observe. This occurs in environments that have HTTPS communication um, and non-operating system deployment task sequences in, this, in the software center. Um, uh, the run scripts functionality doesn't work on Azure Active Directory join clients. Uh, SCCM client upgrade process may terminate unexpectedly on two 32-bit Windows clients. Uh, the collection properties window takes longer than expected in the Config Manager admin console, and I have observed that. Performance improvements um, to increase the overall speed of tenant attached processes. So that's just to name a few things that this office is going to resolve. So with that, let's get started and get with the um, dot fix, installing the dot fix. So in your Config Manager console, so if you've experienced, and I think there might be some other issues as well, um, but I'll link the information from Microsoft in the comment section below so you can review um, the, you know, some other issues that are identified by this hot, that, that will be resolved by this hotfix. Now, as you can see, I have the hotfix in here. It's ready to install. So I'm just going to go ahead and install the update pack. And won't ignore any of that. Okay, well, yep, yep. click on update without validating. I'm going to accept the terms. Next. Now this is going to start doing the prerequisite check and then it's going to, you know, um, check some other. Now if you want to monitor the status of that, again, um, you go to monitoring and you go to Go to monitoring, um, updates, servicing status, and you can see right here, um, it's replicating content. So if you want to, you can show status and it'll tell you um, where it's at. The, you know, right now it's downloaded, now it's doing the replication, and it's going to go through the prereq check, then it's going to do the install, and then the post installation. So you can monitor this uh, here, um, or you can check the logs. Um, so with that, we're going to let that go. Okay, once it's done, you'll see that under the monitoring section, you'll see that it's installed. Um, so now you'll need to upgrade the console. Uh, let's go look at the uh, about config manager. Now you can see it's going to upgrade the console, so I'm going to do that now. Console is being upgraded. Once this, this completes, it will relaunch the console automatically. All right, once it's installed, you'll see when you go to the administration, updates and servicing, it's now installed. And if you look at the about config manager, you'll see that it's been upgraded. Now this does require um, the client version to be upgraded, so it's gonna upgrade to the um, 10.12 to 10.52. So in my environment, my lab environment, it'll probably take uh, you know, a couple, two, three days to get them upgraded. Now in your environment, it may take up to a couple weeks, seven to a couple weeks, depending on your, your policy in regards to the client upgrade. Um, and so that, and that's basically it. Um, now, if you do have a secondary site, you will have to upgrade those manually. You'll have to upgrade the, um, the secondary sites manually. And I don't have a secondary site, so I um, can't show you that. So you basically want to go to site configuration, and you'll want to click on the recover secondary site, and that will um, upgrade your secondary site, but you'll have to do that manually. This patch won't do that automatically. So just keep that in mind, and that's basically it. Um, again, I'll leave the comment, I'll leave the information in the comment section below in the description. Um, please consider subscribing. There's going to be a lot more content. I'm going to go over some more features and stuff like that that uh, has been released in this version of SCGM. 
uh, including some cloud management gateway stuff, Mac management and stuff like that. So stay tuned for that. Again, subscribe, like this video if you like this video. Again, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.